elected Donald Trump, he would give his generals and his national security team 30 days to come up with a plan to, quote, soundly and quickly defeat ISIS. Has he shared with you any of the particulars of his plan? No, I haven't. Uh, I have not had discussions uh, with uh, Mr. And Trump. Does that sound like a good plan to you, just the broad outlines of waiting till you get into office and then commission your generals, give them 30 days to come back with a plan? Well, I, I, again, I know that because I'm a Republican and I'm here in front of you, uh, you want to slant this in a particular direction. But well, I Chairman, think, that's why I'm asking you, Donald Trump is yeah. the candidate that you're supporting. That's why I'm asking you about him. Yeah. Does it concern you as the chairman of foreign relations that you don't quite know what he would do as commander in chief about ISIS? Well, it... <laughs> Chairman, I hear you on that. I don't think anybody okay. could ever say that anything's going well in Syria. It's a huge problem, but I guess the question is, could critical. the next president do something better? And it'd be nice to know if the candidate had a plan, a specific plan of how he would do better. Or if you just feel confident. Well, I think, I think, I think that uh, certainly we've got some debates that are coming up. My guess is that uh, intelligent people like all of you are on this uh, this uh, broadcast will be asking those questions, and my guess is those kinds of things will be illuminated over time, and they're spending. It, um, so, with respect, it seems like you don't feel comfortable talking about Donald Trump. Well, I, I don't feel comfortable coming on a program and being a, a sort of a, a judger. Uh, if you will, no, it's no, just I, not I, what I'm well, focused on. Well, how about on, this so. then? How about an okay. easier, and Mike, you can take it, but I, uh, do you have confidence in Donald Trump as uh, commander in chief, especially as it pertains to foreign policy? I'll make it really broad and easy. Well, again, look, the neither of the campaigns, to my knowledge, have a question. I have to uh, be I, respectful, but I, uh, I'm sorry. I just asked if you had confidence in Donald Trump as commander in chief as it pertains to foreign policy. That's pretty much a yes, no question. Yeah. It's, and it's I, and not I think about that Obama. I think that I think the candidate is certainly deepening uh, in what he's Donald Trump is deepening in what he's throwing out. He's shaking Maybe the only thing you no, no, think no. It about. Would just mean I happen, a lot to, to, me. to care about it what would mean, we're doing right now. Bob, okay. it would mean a lot to me if you had conf If you said, yes, I have full con I would take a... You have great stature in the Senate. Yeah. You are chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. I, it would mean a lot to a lot of people if the answer to that question was yes. So I, I get that there isn't an answer. I think... I'm going to hand it to Mike that, now. I just yeah. like, explaining myself to yeah. you. I, I got it. And, and, and look, I didn't come on this program to be that referee, but let me say, I do believe that Donald Trump is growing and deepening and evolved. But again, it's just not what I'm focused on. I'm focused oh. on Iran. I'm focused on so, Syria. I'm focused on the South China Sea. We have numbers of issues right. that can go haywire. Uh, Senator, we respect your position.